गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी जस्ट सॉ द वीडियो ऑन रिविजन ऑफ परसेंटेज नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी वीडियो ऑन रिविजन ऑफ सिंपल इंटरेस्ट ओके बिफोर यू नो दिस चैप्टर वेरी वेल लाइक आई टोल यू यू शुड लर्न टू फॉर्मूलाज द फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला इंटरेस्ट इज इक्वल टू पी एन आर अपॉन हंड्रेड दैट इज प्रिंसिपल मल्टीप्लाइड बाई नंबर ऑफ इयर्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाई आर अपॉन हंड्रेड ओके एंड द सेकेंड फॉर्मूला इज अमाउंट इज इक्वल टू प्रिंसिपल प्लस इंटरेस्ट इफ यू नो दीज टू फॉर्मूलाज यू कैन सॉल्व एनी सम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सो इंटरेस्ट इंटरेस्ट इज इक्वल टू प्रिंसिपल मल्टीप्लाइड बाई नंबर ऑफ इयर्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाई रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट अपॉन हंड्रेड बिफोर आई प्रोसीड फॉरवर्ड रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज ऑलवेज इन परसेंटेज ओके रिमेंबर दिस रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज पी सी पी ए दैट इज परसेंट पर एन एम इफ यू ऑब्जर्व योर क्वेश्चन दे हैव ऑलवेज मैंशन पी सी पी ए आफ्टर रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज ऑलवेज फॉर वन ईयर rate of interest is always for one year this is just an extra information p and r that is principal multiplied by number of years multiplied by rate of interest upon 100 this is the formula to find the interest okay amount is equal to principal plus interest please read your question properly and only then decide some questions they will only ask you to find the interest some questions they will only ask you to find the interest and in some questions they will all uh, they may also ask you to find the total amount or the total money or the money that you will get at the end of the year that is when you will use this second formula if they are asking you to only find the interest you will use only this one formula if they are also asking you to find the amount or the total money that you will get at the end of the year you will use this formula also so you are going to learn these two formulas very well and only then you are going to solve the sums okay so let's begin my first question i'm reading my question i want you to listen carefully i want you to listen to the question children whenever you read your question please make sure that you jot down the information given in the question see how teacher is doing i'm reading my question what will be the interest means i have to find the interest on rupees 15000 so 15000 is my principal principal is equal to rupees 15000 so as you read your question please make sure that you jot down the information it makes your sum easy okay it makes your sum easy what will be the interest on rupees 15000 principal for one year so number of years is equal to 1 at the rate of 9 cpa so rate of interest is equal to 9 p c p a p c p a means percent per annum annum means for one year so i have to only find interest in this particular sum i have to only find interest in this particular sum so what is my formula after you finish writing the information next step is that you have to write the formula if you don't write the formula in your sum you lose your marks when you don't write formula in any sums you lose your marks formula is compulsory so interest is equal to p n r upon 100 okay what is p 15000 multiplied by n 1 multiplied by r 9 upon 100 now children it is always ideal that after the formula in the next sum you replace these alphabets by their values then do not do any cancellation over here let the teacher come to know that you have written the correct numbers in the correct places if you do cancellations and solutions right over here it becomes too confusing for the teacher so for one step na just fill in the values and let it remain in the next step copy this entire thing all over again so that is 15000 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 9 upon 100 
Now you may do your cancellations or solving or anything that you have to do in this step. I usually do cancelling of zeros. Okay. Now what remains after that? So that is equal to 150 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 9. So that is equal to 150 multiplied by 9. So I'll do 150 multiplied by 9 in my working column. 150 multiplied by 9. 9 zeros are 0, 9 fives are 45, carry 4, 9 ones are 9 and 4, 13. So that is equal to 1, 3, 5, 0. So what is my interest? Rupees 1, 3, 5, 0. So that is 1,350. My question was find the interest. I had to only find the interest. I found the interest. So therefore interest is equal to rupees 1350. So as in this question I was only asked to find the interest. I have only found the interest. Okay. Now let's do one more sum. I am reading the question. Pay attention. Ram deposited rupees 2000 in a bank so principal is equal to rupees 2000 for a year so number of years one at the rate of interest 10 pcpa so rate of interest 10 pcpa what is the amount that he will get at the end of the year now children, here the question says that I have to find the amount that Ram will get at the end of the year. Always remember, if I have to find the amount, first thing I will find is the interest. After I get the interest, I will use the amount formula and only then I can find the amount. So my first thing is to find the interest. So what is my formula to find the interest? Interest is equal to P N R upon 100. What is my P? 2000 N 1 R 10 upon 100. Like I told you, when you write, fill in the values for the first time. Let it remain the way it is. Do not touch it. So that is equal to 2000 multiplied by 1. Multiply by 10 upon 100. Cancel the zeros. That is equal to 200 multiply by 1, multiply by 1, divide by 1. So that is rupees 200. So what is my interest? Rupees 200. But I have to find the amount. They have not asked me to find the interest. They have asked me to find the amount. So amount is equal to principal plus interest that is equal to 2000 plus 200 that is equal to 2200 rupees 2200 okay so amount is equal to rupees 2200 i hope you understood so uh, with the notes of this particular chapter, simple interest, I have even sent the full form like P stands for principal, R for rate of interest and for number of years. Please remember those full forms. Very important from the examination point of view. Please also remember that rate of interest is always for one year. Rate of interest is always given for one year only. It is percent per annum. Rate of interest is always given in percentage form and it is always for one year. Per annum means for one year. This is very important from the objectives point of view in your Google form exam. Learn the formulas very well. Learn both the formulas very well. Solve the exercises all by yourself again. Okay. Solve the exercises all by yourself again and only then you will understand that how much you know and how much you need to practice more. Any doubts, you may call me anytime. I hope all four divisions have my contact number. You may also approach your maths teacher 
or you may also call me no problems but please make sure you learn the formulas you practice the sums and if any doubt you can call me thank you all the best for your exams